all y'all welcome in to vloggy thing i think number 42 eh, it'll be in the title um i never remember which one it is until i go look through my little handy dandy book because you know wait what day is it i do know it's saturday that i'm recording this because this is the saturday vloggy thing um in addition to that on this channel you will see book looks you will see Time for Tea, which is always on a Monday. Book looks are on a Sunday. Um, all of the other days, it just kind of depends on what happens, except for Tuesday, because Tuesday is snacks around the world. Got some special ones coming up of those, too. Now, today, there is some crochet stuff, there's some life stuff, and there's some stuff stuff. So we're going to jump into all of it, okay? Uh, starting with the life. Yeah. I've been working a lot. I've been behind on answering comments and answering emails, and I do apologize for that. Uh, this week, including today that I'm recording this because I'm on my lunch break recording it, it will be 63 hours. So just so you know, uh, that's what's going on. I do work from home, which is a bonus because I don't have to travel that hour and a half commute. But yeah, I've been working a lot, so I will catch up with comments. Just bear with me. Okay, that said, whew, I made a mistake thinking I was going to do some yard work this week. This fat chick is not made for being outside. Okay, um, we have some, you know, we're out in the country. We're not like in the city with prim and proper lawns and all that stuff because no. So we had some stuff overgrowing and trying to grow up onto the house on the siding and stuff. So I went out there with the handy dandy clippy bush trimmer shear things I don't know what these things are called and I was clipping some of it and I, I said okay I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes and then go in I was, I was on a lunch break go so I can get things done I was on a lunch break I went outside I did some of that I came inside and then I started to shake I mean like violent shaking I'm like really it took you know 15 minutes of activity for me to shake that's just stupid so I sat down I had something a little salty and had something with a little bit of sweet to it and after about 10 or 15 minutes, I was better. So, yes, my salt levels drop. Most people, it's like, you must be on a low salt diet. Um, no, I literally can't do that. So, hmm, welcome to my weird world. Other than that, it's just been work and crochet and craziness. All the usual craziness. I've been trying to keep up with everybody's Vlogmas stuff. Boy, that's tough. There's a lot of vlogmas out there, but I have been trying to watch and comment on every single one. And I do that while I'm working. I actually run videos, usually at one and three quarters speed on my phone and it sits in front of me and I, I don't talk to people while I'm working. It's me researching stuff and I can kind of multitask that way. It keeps my head busy. So I do try to keep up with things. If I am missing your videos, if I'm not subscribed to you and I should be, let me know down in the comments. I will get to the comments, just probably not today, but they will happen. Okay, now we're getting into the crochet stuff. And coming up, as you probably saw in the title, which I will be titling after I, yeah, the order of things, um, there's a ton of happy mail that just kind of fell on me. It's like, whoa! And I went to Ollie's again. Y'all, I should not be doing that. Mm-hmm. Crochet, though. Okay, I'm going to start with what's right on top. I have been working on a corner-to-corner -corner blanket, I guess. I have a bunch of this mandala in the color unicorn. I got it on sale much earlier this year at Joanne, and I was like, Ooh, it was like three bucks or something. So I was like, yes, please. And I just grabbed a whole mess of them. I've given a couple away in giveaways. That's what the color works up like if you're not doing a corner to corner. And the recommended hook size of the mandala, it says it's a three weight. And it says to use, oh, I need a magnifying glass. I saw somebody with a magnifying glass earlier and I was like, I need one of those. It says to use a five millimeter hook. I am using a six millimeter hook, a J, because... I like the way it drapes better and I do my corner to corner a little bit differently than a lot of people do and I may have to do a recording a little tutorial on how I do mine because look at the drape of this isn't that pretty this is one cake okay I have at least four or five of them I don't know how big I'm gonna make this this may end up fitting a king-size bed we just don't know now do we 
no pressure, no work. It's just going to keep on happening. This is an easy, easy crochet while I'm sitting in front of the TV in the evenings with the hubby. Okay, so that is what that is for. Don't know what the blanket's going to end up being, but I love the way that it feels and the way that it looks, and it looks very nice, loose, and comfy. Next whip. Ah, the infamous hubby blanket has finally gotten some love this week. See, I told you I've been crocheting. Um, it's huge. I haven't gotten that much further than I was. Okay, that's where I, hey, there's my progress marker. Got my little From Rose Likes Crochet. This is one of the Star Trek ones to boldly go where no man has gone before. Because this blanket is actually for the hubby. And if I can get it to spin around and show you the front, you know. And we are both Star Trek fans, but I thought that was appropriate. And I've gotten this far. And it's pretty wide. I guess I'll unfold it so you can see that that really is an accomplishment for me. I am not a speedy crocheter. Okay. I am very tall, though. I'm 5 foot 11. And uh, this is wingspan okay plus this much that's the width of it and coming up from the floor it's coming up a little bit above my belly button now so it's still not big enough and I think I may end up having to order a little bit more yarn this is all done out of a uh, Joanne Big Twist Big Twist value in several different colors and I keep this hook in it so that I remember the size because I only have one of the comfortable hooks that's a five millimeter. I, d I started off with this one and I found I really like the ones with a little ergonomic doobly-doo a little bit better. So yes, this one is moving right along. No pattern, beginner crochet brain. And boy, it really is a progress keeper of how I've progressed in crochet this year. I just started crocheting this year. And at the beginning, some of the stitches are wonky. Some of the tension is wonky. The sides kind of do this. There'll be a border later. Uh, but now, <laughs> The stitches are looking really nice and look at that yes i'm kind of proud of that how much i've progressed okay that goes in its little progress bag there wait there's more this one here uh this is the from the pick and mix cow from lisa ladybird loves that we've been working on i think there's one more week or two more weeks i'm kind of sad i have not started this week's yet this is last week's um, and now I don't remember what it's called and I don't have a little paper with me, but this next week coming up is going to be Pico, not the border Pico, which I did not know you could do Pico like within a stitch. And I'm like, this is really cool. This is not going to be a humongous blanket. It's actually going to be more lapkin size, but I actually made it to go over the back of my huge recliner because it's nice warm colors. My recliner is brown. Let's go with it. But you can see all the stitches that we've done in there. I'm trying not to hit the ceiling fan. So yeah, I'm kind of digging it. And I will start on that this weekend to finish up this week's stitches. Every Thursday, we've been getting uh, from the spinny wheelie thingy what color and what stitch we're doing. So that has been kind of fun. I've learned a lot from this. I have learned so many stitches that I did not know existed and tried stitches that I had heard of and had never attempted. So I'm kind of proud of myself for that. And I like to thank Miss Lisa Ladybird because she's the one that made it possible. She was so nervous about doing her first cow. It's been great. It's been fun, except for that first stitch that we did that everybody hated. <laughs> I don't hate the look of the stitch, but doing it was difficult. If you want to know about that, watch earlier videos because we all talked about it. Okay, back in the bag with you. <sighs> Yes, I've had to have everything in separate bags. In the plans, there will be a video coming out soon, I hope, uh, about my temperature project, my temperature blanket that I'm making next year. I have the yarn. I have a plan. I actually have a plan. I wrote it down in everything. But I need to make a video about it, and I need to make a little tutorial for the start of it because I'm going to be doing something different. Whether anybody wants to do it with me or not, hey, y'all are all welcome because it'll be kind of fun to do. Um, and, but now... We'll leave the Ollie's haul for last. We're going to go into happy mail. And holy cannoli, all these letters have come this week. And that has just really tickled me delightfully, okay? And I have not looked yet, but I did take my little opener doohickey and open them to try to make it a little bit easier. This first one is from Shondell. 
Oh, how beautiful is this? Hang on. Let me make sure that Shondell, who actually made this as well, when I want a giveaway from her. Classy handmade. This is a pin cushion that she made. Isn't that so stinking adorable? I cannot stick pins in that. I just have to look at it and be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. No pins are going in that cute little guy, at least not as of yet. And see, I thought there was something in there. Yes, there is. This is very, very pretty. Lots of glitter. We've got a beautiful Christmas message for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 11. And on the inside, that is very sweet. The card itself says, may the glad news that Christ is born fill your heart with heavenly joy during this wonderful Christmas season. And then Shondell said, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And to you as well, Miss Shondell. And and y'all i got a stitch marker look at that it's not only got a little christmas stocking which is adorable it's also got h5 on it so it's like i can mark something with the size hook that i'm using what that is fantastic thank you so much shondell i really appreciate that and i'm going to set that right there i've got to kind of have a little system here for what i'm doing because i've got a pile of stuff this one here, I'll look at the back. Look at how adorable that is. And I will cover up the addresses. Look, look, Woodstock. And that is because Christine Gearing of uh, Garden Crochet, I'll, I'll, I'll try to link everybody as I get to them and they'll be linked down below. Um, she loves the Peanuts Gang. And yes, yes, this is so super stinking cute. First off, Look at the glitter in that. I, don't, I hope you can see it. Snoopy and Woodstock and Christmas lights and the doghouse and snow. That is so, so pretty. And yes, this opens this way. And I think that you can prop it up like this. And it says, have the veriest, merriest, happiest holiday ever. From Christine Garden Yarns. Garden Crochet. Garden Yarns. She is... She's got a really neat channel. If you're not following her yet, you really should be. She knits, she crochets. It's like, she does all the things. And she always gets really awesome yarn. So, yes. Thank you, Christine. Let's put that there so I don't lose it. This one is from my buddy, Neva. Just says her last name on there, but I know who it was. Yes. Oh, goodness. I've got a recipe card too. Hello. First of all, beautiful card, very festive with joy and stockings. I like that sort of abstract looking. I, that's adorable. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year too. And yes, with your message in here, Neva, I will. I will. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Neva and LJ, Manic Mama and Captain Obvious. And also, we have determined he's also Captain Wonderful. He's wonderfully obvious, maybe. Really nice guy. But yes, I have got this awesome recipe for Mississippi pot roast. Yeah, it looks yummy. And I have heard of Mississippi pot roast before. It sounds delicious. I will definitely be doing some of that. Let's put that there so I don't lose it. And on the card front, last but not least, not at all, from Miss Cindy Moulter. Um, I have actually won giveaways from Cindy and she is in Texas now. She didn't used to be and, uh, so sweet and she loves her kitties like I do too. So definitely something we have in common plus sparkle. Oh my gosh. This is kind of like a rainbow sparkle in this one. I, I hope that picks up on my phone. Wow. Happy holidays, of course. And neither one of us gets snow like this. So it's just, you know, kind of a, a wishful thing. Wishing you all the magic and wonder of the season and warm memories to cherish all year long. Happy holidays, Cindy. That is very, very sweet. And yes, that is gorgeous. Sparkle. I want, you know what? I know glitter gets everywhere and you can never get it out. But I love it. I guess I'm kind of weird like that. I'm even wearing sparkle today. I wanted to be a little festive today. This is a sweater that's too small for me now. But I still wear it. Wear it over a shirt, you know, because it's just kind of cute. I've had it for a long time, got it on clearance a number of years ago because your girl's all about clearance, okay? 
uh, yes, that envelope with that. Don't want to lose a thing. Now, I've got a box. Ah. I did not know I was getting a box. Um, about 10 minutes before I came in here to record, I heard a truck come up the driveway. And when something comes up the driveway, you know it out here because it's a long driveway. I was like, what is that? And I heard a little beep, which is what our UPS guy does when he pulls up. I was like, oh. And I figured the hubby had something coming because, you know, he often orders stuff in. I order stuff in too. I've got stuff coming. But no, that's not what this is. Saw the name on it and saw that it came from Oklahoma. And I went, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I have got some happy mail from Ashley. Stitching ain't easy. And if you are not subscribed to her channel, I don't know what you're doing. Because she is so fun. And she lives in Gnomeville. Oh wow. It is definitely a box of goodies. <laughs> okay. We got to go through these one by one. Oh my gosh. I got something in there that I have wanted and never bought. Ah! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay. This was about Crochet Tober. Yes, um, back, I did crochet Tober for fun. I did not know there would be prizes. It was just something that I just did because I enjoy it. Now, yes, and thank you. Um, I will be, wow, there's a lot of cool patterns here, just different patterns, um, knit and crochet patterns, different things from Hobby Lobby. That is really cute. Puff stitch projects, I really need to project practice puff stitches when I did the bobble stitches and stuff in Lisa's cow I ended up gaining so many stitches I know what I did wrong now but I was not gonna frog all that mess no so we just adjusted and then reduced later it's all good ah. but yes ooh made with a velvet yarn I bet that is squishy Love making scrubby things. There's all kinds, there's like multiple patterns in each one of these, which is really cool. Cute little crochet. Oh my God. Tot size accessories, it says. Tot size accessories? Are you kidding me? I want that for like a little bag pull or something. That is super cute. Okay. Let me put this down here. Yes! Sorry, I'm very excited about this. Um, oh, it's a tape measure. Look at this. <laughs> that little fuzzy tail. Oh my God, that's adorable. That is super adorable. I'm sorry I squeaked it, everybody. But that is so stinking cute. Oh, neato little labels crafted with care authentic and 100% handmade oh, I've never had labels for my stuff before so that is awesome okay let me just dig down in here because I want to show that oh there's, there's more labels in here too they kind of separated from each other this one says stitched with love yes oh these are so cute Yarn B Sweet Minis. It's fall, y'all. And I am all about these colors, okay? I still have my Halloween, Falloween um, decorations up in my office. Everybody else's stuff, they're, they're, you know, we do video meetings and stuff. Their stuff is all decorated for Christmas, and I'm like, no, it's Halloween all year round right here, okay? Yes, love these. These are so cute. What size yarn are these? 300 yards, it says. It's four ounces. Oh, for Pete's sake, could they make this part any smaller? They don't have to make the print mini, okay? It says that they're size three, so they're a three weight. And they are tightly wound in there for four ounces in that little package. Put that right there. Look! Oh my god! It's a mini black tribble. No, it's it's a palm. <laughs> but you know, they do kind of look like tribbles, don't they? And you're soft and fuzzy. Okay. Yes, I'm that weird. I'm that weird all the time. Oh, 
Sassy Sock Yarn Sundance. Wow, that's pretty. This one has a ball bin that is split, so maybe I can actually read it. This says it is a one super fine. Super fine, super fine, you're super fine now. Sorry. Um, these are, oh, the color is blaze, by the way. God, that's so pretty. I may have to look into making some socks because this is awesome. We're not socks. This might be too pretty for socks. Too pretty for my big old honking feet, okay? 65% superwash wool, 27% nylon, 8% polyester. Yeah. Wow, made in Turkey. It's really soft and it's very squishy and it's got a neat texture to it. I mean, it's soft to the feel, but because of the twist, it's got that cool texture. Ooh, what am I gonna make with these? What do these want to be? That's what I have to answer. Mary Maxim Scrub It. I've never had their scrubby yarn before. This is neat. It's got, it's like a, a ribbon yarn with a fringe on it. That's cool. Medium weight four. Do not dry clean. Lay flat to dry. No, if it's a scrubby thing, it's going in the dryer. They always survive. I don't know why they have to freak out like that. Um, it is 50 grams, 70 meters, 100% cotton. Hot pink, because yes, it is. Love it. Love it. But yeah. Oh yeah, Mary Maxim with their weird washing directions. Washable and dryable. Wash using gentle, delicate, and it says silicate cycle, so somebody typoed that mess. For two minutes. Two minutes. Tumble dry using low heat for a maximum of five minutes. Remove and lay flat to dry. Yeah. I can tell you right now, that's not happening. Not with something for scrubby stuff, okay? But, yeah, that's going to have a nice texture for scrubbing things. Very, very cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is more. Oh, a different scrubby thing. Yarn Bee Scrubology Cotton in Royal Blue. Wow, that's blowing it out a little bit, but that is, there you go. That's about right. It is a beautiful, deep royal blue. This is 85 grams, 115 meters, 100% cotton. It says use a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. What size does it say it is? Of course, it's probably right in front of me and I'm just not, oh, it's a four, it's a four medium. That is going to be so cool to work with. Love it, love it. Yes, made in Turkey. And I can't make the turkey gobble sound like another YouTube person we know does all the time. This is the last thing I wanted to show because I wanted some of this. I wanted it so badly, but I wasn't going to spend the money for it. Oop, there's a fuzz. Um, the chameleon, the color changing flipping cotton. Oh my God. This is a three light. It says a lot of people said that. It had a scent. There's a, there's a hint of something a little chemically there, but it's not very strong. Maybe because it was, you know, it's not like fresh and brand new anymore. We're not picking it up from the store right this second. This one, oh, what color is this one? This is the yellow, white to yellow multi. Are they both that? Yes, white to yellow multi. And there is no sunshine today. It is raining. It is gray outside. I'm not even going out there, okay? But looks white now and it also looks upside down but when it is worked up and you go outside it changes but it has to be indirect sunlight and then it changes back I have seen people make stuff with this and it looks so cool and the cotton is really nice and soft this is this is garment worthy this is not dishcloth worthy okay wow wow and again wow <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much. That was a huge surprise. Uh, the hubby saw that it was coming and the name that it was on it because it didn't say Ashley in the from thing. And he said, you know, there's something from coming from Oklahoma. He says, I don't remember ordering anything, but, you know, we never know. I'm like, okay. And then I promptly forgot about it. And then it showed up. And I was like, oh. He said, yeah, I kind of figured it was yarny stuff. And that's what he calls it, yarny stuff. So there is that. 
Okay, going to put this on pause for just a second because my timer is going off. My apologies. The timer going off means it's time to go back to work. I had to go, you know, do a thing. Um, now for some stuff that I've purchased. That I purchased. This I bought and I forgot to show in a haul video the other day. Got this at Walmart. Look at this stinking adorable ornament. Look, look, it's the little Grogu, the little baby Grogu. Yeah, it's a Funko Pop ornament with the Grogu. Yes, I had to have it. Um, no, we don't put up a tree, but this will sit on the shelf next to my big Grogu that I have that the hubby bought for me. Because, yes, he's adorable. So I wanted to show you that because I thought it was very cute. Um, I did buy this several weeks ago, maybe over a month ago. I do want to do a look through on this. I don't know when that'll happen, but it will be sometime soon. Easy Afghans. I need easy. So yeah, all about that life. And what just came in was my latest crochet world. There will be a flip through coming up of that again soon, very soon. Now, holy cannoli, y'all. Hang on. I'm gonna pause again because I had to make room. Okay, gonna try to run through this quickly. I went to Ollie's. They had an invitation only thing. Invitation only. If you showed up and you didn't have an Ollie's card, you could apply for one right there. Applying for one is free. It's easy. It's a shopping card. Okay. Um, and it was 15% off everything. It was 25% off toys and stuff, but I don't buy toys. So, you know. Okay, so I bought some things. I did buy this. It's a puzzle. Look at the yarn. Oh my God. Yes. I thought it was super cute. So I had to have it. And I wouldn't buy it at regular price because I'm cheap. Uh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I am not quite sure what I'm going to use this for yet. But I think it'll probably involve patterns and stuff. Uh, this was marked $2.99 and then there was another 15% off. So that's cool. Look at this. I love pumpkin everything. Taste of home pumpkin. And it's all kinds of things. It's savory stuff and sweet stuff. And I thought it was really, really cool. I like this kind of cookbook. Now, I'm not one to follow recipes necessarily, but I love to look through and get inspired. And sometimes I go, oh, I never thought of making that. Maybe I'll do something like that. Um, this was originally a list price of $12.99, and then it got reduced wherever it was to $9.74, and then it got reduced at Ollie's to $2.99, and then I had 15% off that. So, yes, another deal. I also enjoy beading stuff and haven't made any in quite a while, but I thought that would be fun. Beaded jewelry, okay. That might warrant a uh, book look. Also, this one, I thought this was going to be a fun book look, Craft Your Stash, and it's about all kinds of things in Craft Stash, because I know a lot of us have other crafty aspirations besides just crochet and knit. Okay. No, that's not everything. Hello. Besides the yarn. Um, I got uh, some other holiday cards. They had some holiday cards marked down, and besides the markdown, there was also, you know, the discount. $1.49 warm winter wishes with a nice non, you know, non-denominational sort of message on the inside about a wonderful holiday season. Marked $1.49. I also did not actually have any Hanukkah cards this year and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't have any. So now I have two boxes of them. There's four different designs in each box, which is kind of fun. And this one also has four different designs. So I have eight designs of Hanukkah cards now. So yeah, that will help for next year. And yes, I do always buy my cards at a discount before the season happens. That's just me. I bought a few more towels. I need to start working on towel toppers again. I've got a bag of towels that needs attention. I thought this was pretty. I love the poinsettias and stuff. I just think that's gorgeous. And look at this one with the berries, the holly berries and the leaves and the, yes, yes, this just speaks winter to me. I love it. So there's that. Now we have some yarn. <clears throat> Last time I went to Ollie's, 
So I bought two of these in a different colorway that's over there. Red Heart, It's a Wrap. They didn't have this colorway when I went last time. And I went this time and they had it. $4.99 a ball plus, you know, the discount from that coupon. But wow, isn't that pretty? These are a fine two weight. Um, says they use a 2.75 millimeter hook. That's what's recommended. And, oh, what in the blazes is in this? Let's see if I can read. 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, 150 grams, 570 meters on each ball. Plus that other color, which I'm not sure if it'll work with it or not, but that's okay because we will see what we do with this. We don't know yet. The yarn has not told me what it wants to be. I did get a couple of more balls of this heat wave in the camo because someone has requested some camo stuff from me. So there's that. Oh, and I didn't have any of this color in as a sparkle. Do not fall off that little table. Okay. Pretty pink with some gorgeous sparkle. This is Karen Simply Soft Party. Yeah. Each of these is 85 grams, 150 meters. They're a four weight. They recommend a five millimeter hook. It is very, very soft. And that sparkle is just everything. And I have some in some other colors now. And I saw this and I'm like, ooh, I don't have that color. I should get some of that because I need more yarn. If y'all could only see around here and see what I don't have room for. Speaking of sparkle, <laughs> look at that sparkle. This is a Red Heart Comfort. And this was only marked $4.99. And for this big of a ball, I was excited to buy this one. It is 340 grams, which is 548 meters. Okay, it's a four weight. It says it uses a five and a half millimeter hook. It's 98% acrylic, 2% other fibers or sparkly stuff. And uh, it's called Cerise. But oh, it's a pinky red. Whew, I, I can't stop looking at the sparkle. So, and it's not bad. It's Red Heart Comfort. It's not like Super Saver. It's not the softest yarn you've ever touched, but it is not bad at all. I am not mad at it. And what else did I get? Okay, there's one other thing in here, just another heat wave in um, one of the gray colors because it went nicely with that other. Okay, wow, this is a long video. I'm so sorry. If you have made it this far, I do appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. Um, I would love it if you left a like before you zoomed on out of here and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate that as well. Check out my playlist. Check out the description down below. There might be some things that you didn't know about in the description. Always a good time. I will see all of y'all around the YouTube streets and uh, see you soon. Bye y'all.